Oh. Ah. Okay. Good. Hi guys. It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. We are headed to the farm because we are actually going to harvest our goldfish today and during our harvest it is the time for us also to have banding with our staff there at the farm and along the way we also tried our best to prepare some good food for our staff for us to have a lunch together because this is gonna be a tedious task today we're gonna harvest our goldfish And beside me is Joseph. This is my friend and this is our normal routine. Whenever we go to the farm to make a harvest, we will also drop by here and buy some fish for our buy-in. And uh, Joseph has this kind of fish now. This is called Tarakito and uh, this is best for Sinigang. And this is gonna be our uh, buy-in for our lunch. So Joseph will slice some of this fish and of course we will pay 500 pesos for one and a half kilo, I think for two kilos, for two kilos of this tarakito. So we will pay Joseph and Joseph will chop right there. Also we would like to have some of this galunggong. This is the favorite fish of the Filipinos. Well our business is all about fishing and the fish that we're gonna sell are ornamental fish and these fish are all for buy-in purposes wow that's a delicious fish wow you know joseph is a member of the indigenous peoples group the ipis uh, they belong to the sama tribe this uh, locally known as bajau and they are doing good they are doing business and i really appreciate this man because he tried his best to really find a living out of selling this uh, fish and uh, this is given for free this is free <laughs> thank you joseph thank you joseph and we have here the tarakito well this is just worth 500 pesos they're allowed to sell fish during this pandemic time the people will no longer go to the main market they will just drop by here along the road and buy some fish. Joseph, thank you for the extra fish. Okay, so can you say hi to our vlog? <laughs> Joseph is a good man. So now we will go to the farm and we will do some harvest of our fish. Come on, let's go. So guys we are finally here and we are now doing the harvest and you will see that we are on the process now of extracting the water out of these two tanks and these two tanks actually are the tanks of the goldfish that we were placed in here some two months ago. What's good thing about putting your goldfish in the mud pan, they will grow so fast compared to you know raising them on the concrete tank. So this is it, today is going to be a very busy day. And you will see that initially we have this uh, kind of fish already and uh, there are plenty we expect to harvest more than 500 pieces of this goldfish and uh, the problem of the birds is really very persistent because uh, during night time we can really see birds big birds that are coming in and eating our fish and also we have issues about the snails the snails are also becoming now detrimental to the population of this fish because they are eating a lot of the fish food so there are many insects right there but uh, since that we already have this catfish my plan is to grind this one and of course to chop this one and throw this in the in the pan of you know the catfish the catfish will really love to eat the the meat of the snails Mm. Mm. 
Okay. So they are big, they are small, but this rod is really very impressive. They also have some mollies right here. No, you throw the mollies there so that the Japanese koi will eat. So you just put the snails right here. Good. And you will see that there are calicos, there are ryukin, there are orandas, and there are also some lion heads right here. Wow, this is a good indication that they really have grown fast in just a period of two months. And this oxygen is very important also. Don't dare to harvest your fish without this kind of you know, oxygen because they will certainly be gasping for breath and eventually they might die. Oh, oh. yes, perfect. Put just like that and then we will tie this with this rubber band. And uh, maybe you are asking how to tie this one. This is just easy. Pull that and then finally tie the upper portion of this. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Another batch is here. Wow, big. This is big. Wow, there are really some that are big. See that? It's a good harvest. Wow, and we will do this very gently because the fish will certainly become very stressed if we will handle this roughly. So this is it. Uh, this is the first process. We will put them in a basin and after the basin we will put them in the plastic bags and float them at the concrete tanks right there. And this is the, the process. So we are doing this very gradually because we cannot afford to reduce all the water and be panicking about how to catch this fish well i am convinced that the catch basin is really very important and uh, we experienced that when we made a harvest of our japanese koi and we have to do some measures to create maybe a catch basin in the middle or maybe at the end part of this uh, of this uh, tank this is a learning process for us we are not so perfect about this, but uh, in, in due time, we're gonna be able to perfect how to do all these things. It's better to just put a little amount of water and put more oxygen, more air than water. Their experience is not also good to, you know, feed our fish a day before the harvest so yesterday this fish were not fed so that they will be conditioned for this harvest wow. oh. we will tie this up we will tie this up and we will bring this immediately to the concrete tank where we float the plastic bags and for the fish to rest also. Okay, plenty now. Well, another good catch, just like that. Okay, then of course we will leave the snails because these snails are growing rapidly. They can grow faster than the fish. Ah. Okay. Good. Okay. 
That's it. Ah, one, two. And another tip that we can mention to you is the temperature of the water. Of course, the temperature right there is very warm. That's why we, all, we already prepared an aged water and exposed this one in the heat of the sun to just get the exact temperature of the mud pond. And you will see that this water is also uh, prepared already and this is very important because if we will use new water, of course, that is not advisable. So you will be stressing out the fish and eventually will cause their death, okay? So you will see guys that the snails are really getting in and making its way to, you know, increase. Okay, you can use this net. Just remove this and you will use that dropping but getting the fish in the other pond. Okay. Let's see. Okay, for the meantime, I will tell you about what is this kind of apple snail well these apple snails are good to be also eaten this can be eaten actually and I, I have a video on this if you are you know just able to taste this one this is really good but uh, we normally don't eat this one here because we have so many uh, snails uh, available you have clean water of course if you have vinegar then some chili of course uh, you can eat this one it's apple snail there are so many videos about this See, very delicious but of course this is best uh, eaten if we are going to prepare this with vinegar and salt very delicious mm. see uh. like boy tapang drink water So guys, we have finally harvested all our fish and they only reach around 600 pieces. So this is bad actually compared to the number of goldfish that we have thrown because we have thrown more than 3,000. And uh, the next process is for us to evaluate whether their conditions is ready to be transported to the pet store. But I see it that it's much better to just allow them to stay here in these two tanks because their conditions is not good so we have to classify this one according to sizes and uh, the bigger ones will be uh, placed here and the smaller ones will be placed right there together with the catfish they're so stressed that they need to have some rest so in this size we have to put this here wow look at this very amazing some of them have not molted yet wow
So guys, I will select the big one. This is a big goldfish. You look at this. They are already big. Wow. Very beautiful fish. And uh, it's good to segregate them according to sizes because they will have no uniform price also. The bigger ones will be sold more pricey than, you know, the, the smaller ones. That's it. The bigger ones will be placed here. So you look at this guys we have 300 bigger fish and we will throw the bigger ones right here 300 of them well if we can sell this one at 200 pesos uh, that's a lot of money uh, I would like this channel to become an encouragement to you guys our videos will somehow open your minds about this business and we are now set to put the bigger ones right here 300 of them this fish have not molted yet but if this will be given enhancer this will turn into orange see the white rican So guys, the activity today was so tedious, it's laborious, and uh, it, it requires much of our energy. That is why I'm so tired, but then I'm very positive that we can improve our breeding, our racing, and even the marketing of this goldfish. You know, goldfish is much easier to harvest compared to the Japanese koi. Next week, I believe we can also do another harvest of this Japanese koi and these are massive. I can sense that we can harvest around 2,000 of these bigger koi in another pond. So it's my dream to have all these things and these dreams have uh, slowly being realized because of our effort to persevere. No matter what, we persevere and we try our best to remedy all problems and become, you know, victorious in all situations. So I would like to invite you to please subscribe to this channel because in this channel you will be inspired to do business and you will know also about so many tips on how to take care of different kinds of farm animals. I'm looking forward for our ostrich farm and many others. And maybe in the next couple of months, we're gonna improve our goat farming wherein we will integrate some hybrid goats. So th these are the things that I have in mind. So please subscribe so that you will be notified of our future videos. We are uploading videos every three to five days, only here at Dexter's World.